approaching one billion. Well, as we heard earlier, South Australians are out in force as Adelaide marks the moment with the Click Festival. Again, we link with the World Consortium for the big moment from Adelaide.
Is Adelaide an orchestra, a community choir and a massive percussion choir leading the midnight celebrations in South Australia. A spectacular sight as South Australians look to the future. I'm not a futurist but I suppose I see things progressing in such a way that the rest of the world is starting to see Australian art as something that's up there with the rest of them internationally. Because we're a big country, we tend to forget that um, we're only 18 million people and therefore the proportion of great art um, is not enormous. But I think people are starting to see that what's good is really good and equal to anything in the world. In all sorts of ways, we don't seem to be locked into having to be beholden to particular traditions and hence that kind of lyric and mode that we're able to say to hell if it works we'll do it so I think a lot of people are doing that I also suspect that on the distance factor I personally believe that the digital revolution and I, th I, I guess that's the one thing to say about the future is that people will look back in 50 years time and say the digital revolution equaled the industrial revolution 100 years ago that's what we're going through and it's changing our world in ways that we can't even foresee at the moment and very rapidly I guess what's going to be very interesting in the future to see which forms of live performance survive um, I'm not one of those people who kind of whinge and say oh god the theatres aren't full because young people aren't going to the theatre and therefore um, Generation Y doesn't like the arts. I mean, this is total rubbish. Of course they do. It's just that Generation Y are consuming their arts in very different ways. So I just think that a lot of people in power have to recognise that art is taking, rapidly taking on new forms. And if live performance is to persist, then I guess people have to make sure that somewhere it connects with a generation who basically see their arts coming in digital forms. Well, still more fun to come. Queensland, the Northern Territory, WA, still to come as our countdown clock reveals the seconds and each slowly ticking away. The fact they are ticking, of course, bears testimony to the fact that much of the hype surrounding the Y2K computer bug was just that hype. But if the experts are to be believed, this won't be a non-event either, and officials are on duty in Canberra to deal with the bug should it strike. And on hand at the Emergency Management Authority headquarters in Canberra is Sarah Clark. Sarah? Yes, hello. Well, I actually happen to have uh, Senator Ian Campbell, who's with me. He's uh, part of the federal government and has been overseeing the, the Y2K situation for a number of years now. Um, as far as the Y2K bug's gone, how is, uh, is it a happy new year? Well, it has been so far. Uh, there's no reports of any incidents, which is fantastic news for Australia. Um, of course, you know, we'd expect more information to come in as, uh, as time goes by. And uh, at this stage, basically, these states and territories that have ticked over, um, they are on daylight saving. Does this uh, mean any good indications for the, the rest of the country? Will it fare okay? 
Look, I think if the, if the states that have gone through it now are in good condition, that uh, augurs well for South Australia and my home state of Western Australia. When will we know Australia-wide whether or not we've passed the Y2K test? We're going to make a full uh, and comprehensive report on the state of the nation at about four o'clock this morning, so we should have some uh, very good detail by then. We've got information in from telecommunications carriers saying there's been no uh, failures in that area. Uh, so that's good news and, and no adverse reports so far. So a good report card for, so far? Yeah, it looks, looks really good so far, so we're pleased. Um, still a little bit nervous, but uh, that'll be great. OK, thank you, Senator Campbell. Back to you, Maxine. Yeah, thanks, Sarah. I mean, you have to say, George, I mean, Y2K has been a work experience a project, hasn't it, for computer programmers and line so. programmers. It I has, hasn't so. it? And journalists. Work experience. And journalists. That's right. The, the overhyped story of the year. We were right into it. Years. But, uh, yeah, but as, uh, as I said earlier, it's not necessarily all over. But, you know, the, the hype was certainly amazing, oh, wasn't it? I mean, oh. it, it really was a choice between absolutely nothing happening, or That's as right. H.G. and Roy might say, bugger all. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And, and the end of Western civilization right. and Eastern civilization as we know them. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Trish, I think we're going to have a look now at the that finale of this, the Sydney fireworks, which, which Roy and HG alluded to, the wonderful spectacular over Sydney Harbour. What are you going to do now? You're going to have a, well, have I a feel kip like and you're going to reappear, I guess, gather I at the, like on the I dawn. Have, I feel like I've been here for an eternity. You have, you <laughs> have. And actually, I was going, the problem is I was going to blame the millennium bug for anything that went wrong. And <laughs> things, thanks, folks, no, have gone so, so smoothly that I didn't really have to resort to that pathetic uh, risk. Well, having, having kicked the show off, you can, you can now have a rest, and we'll see you, what, 5, 6 a.m.? I'm going to go and finish this, uh, this Australian champagne and okay. then have a little kip, and I'll be back around about 5, I think. Would you terrific, believe? terrific. We'll to see meet all the people going home from the celebration. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, George. You, you enjoy yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Of course, the fireworks from Sydney Harbour. Here's a replay of the finale. It is the tribute to Arthur Stace, eternity, or as Royal H.G. said, a bloody long time. Well, as we've